Kiev's allies step up training of Ukrainian soldiers' work with Patriot missiles. About 100 Ukrainian servicemen will head to the US to be trained to work with Patriot surface-to-air missile systems. According to the Pentagon, the training will begin as early as next week. Since the beginning of 2023, Kiev's allies have embarked on a course to boost military aid to Ukraine. In addition to the deliveries of new kinds of weapons, the number of Ukrainian troops trained by Western instructors will also increase. The Pentagon assured that as a testing ground in Germany alone, US specialists will train 500 people a month. Earlier, this figure was about 300 servicemen. Additionally, a training mission was launched by the EU in late 2022, which seeks to instruct 15,000 Ukrainian soldiers. Meanwhile, on a separate track, Ukrainian troops are being prepped in the UK. The West is confident that such steps will bring the end of the conflict closer, while Moscow thinks that they are prolonging it. Director of the Center for Analysis of Strategies and Technologies, Ruslan Pukov, told Russian Commerçant that the West is indeed wagering on prolonging the conflict, stressing, however, that the West is capable of supplying as many weapons to Ukraine, along with prepping as many soldiers as it deems necessary. If they want to, they can increase the number of Ukrainians being trained three and fourfold. Depending on the situation on the battlefield, the West can crank it up or tone it down. Military actions are becoming protracted, and it is necessary to understand that this is teeming with serious risks for Russia. Ukraine and Russia are an endless reservoir of human resources which can be drawn from for a long time. The expert explained that Russia is largely forced to deploy conscripts after accelerated training while the West helps Ukraine to keep its personnel at the necessary level. Additionally, he noted that Russia's stockpile of weapons is wearing thin regardless of the effort made by the military industrial complex while the West can flood Ukraine with weapons. The analyst thinks that Russia should think about importing arms.